Hello, my name is Michael with the Clearview Library District, and welcome to a new episode of The Works. The Works is for kids ages 6 to 12 who like to tinker, build, get messy, and explore. And it's a way for you to engage in science, technology, engineering, art, and math, or STEAM. So each week I have a new project for you to try at home, and I'll be focusing on a different part of STEAM learning every week. Now this week we're going to be working with science and making homemade bubbles. So there's a lot of different recipes online, um, kind of depends what you have in your kitchen. Um, so we're going to work with the recipe today that's pretty easy. So let's go ahead, I'm going to move my screen down. Okay, what we have here is four cups of warm water, half a cup of regular white sugar, and then we're going to add half a cup of Dawn dish soap. So first, we're going to add the water, or excuse me, add the sugar into the water, and we're gonna stir until that's mostly dissolved. Now I've seen different recipes with different types of dish soap. I believe you can, you can certainly try other types of dish soap. This blue Dawn was recommended by a number of sites as being pretty easy to make bubbles with. But I'm pretty sure if you have standard dish soap, uh, you could use that. Um, you just need half a cup to four cups of water. So if you don't have this dish soap, try, try whatever you have half a cup of. Um, some recipes add things like corn syrup, vegetable glycerin, um, some recipes call for things like baking soda and baking powder. I've even seen honey. So there's a lot of different recipes out there. Now another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of the recipes said that bubbles will often be a little bit better if you let the solution that you make sit for an hour. So we're gonna make this and we'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna just keep stirring that until the sugars devolve. And I'm gonna look up bubble science. Okay, that's almost done. So bubbles really are just air wrapped in a soap film. Um, the soap molecules form a thin layer and they sort of uh, act like a sandwich, the soap molecules do, where they work together to hold air inside. And fun fact, the colder the outside temperature is, the higher a bubble might fly. And that's because warm air from your breath, if you blow them, is lighter than the cold air. So once it gets cold out, it might be fun to make bubbles and blow them outside and see if you notice the difference. Okay, so that is dissolved, and we're going to add half a cup of Dawn dish soap to the four cups of water and a half cup of sugar. Okay, there we have half a cup, and I'm going to pour that in. Now, another tip is that when you start to stir this solution together, you don't want to stir it rapidly. You don't want to go crazy. Um, I've read, and it seems to be true from the bubbles I've made, that if you take your time and stir this solution together slowly so you don't make it frothy, that will make the solution for your bubbles a little bit easier to make bubbles with. If you rapidly 
stir it and make it all frothy, the bubbles won't form as easily. So I'm just gonna kind of slowly create the solution here. So the outside of the bubble is created by surface tension of the soap molecules bonding together and trapping the air. So if you're interested in researching more, you can look up surface tension and bubbles and you'll find a lot of interesting information. Now also, you might notice when you blow bubbles that the bubbles kind of have a rainbow effect or make pretty colors in the light. And that's because the bubble is acting sort of like a prism that breaks apart the colors of the visible spectrum of light. So light will hit it and then diffract as it hits the bubble. And that sort of just means the light is interfering with itself and sort of separating where we can see the uh, different colors. All right. So I've just been slowly stirring. Let's see what we have so far. Now I'm just gonna make a little bubble wand using a pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna twist together the ends. That will be the handle. And then I will dip this part in. Let's see. So it's hard to see, but you can maybe see that we actually did make uh, a bubble inside of the film. Yeah, there we go. So there, it is creating the bubble film inside of this. So let's see. Success. Wow, that worked great. So you might also want to try um, larger or smaller wands if you have multiple pipe cleaners. This is actually really great. Bubbles. So it's as simple as that. So thank you, as always, for joining me on the works, and I hope you enjoy your bubbles, and I'll see you next time.